Well, this is not a site that you want to see in your property. As you can see, we have a retaining wall failure. I was given a call by this client of ours to come out and take a look at this wall and see what we could do to help them with it. This is not a wall that we built. This wall is seven years old and the remainder of the wall runs down the side of the driveway and looks to be in pretty good shape. So over the past week, they came home one day after a hard rainstorm and noticed that this wall had fallen down. I'm gonna step carefully here because I don't wanna slip while I'm videoing myself and be on a blooper reel. So let's take a look at why this wall failed. If we look into the next door neighbor's yard, we will see a beautiful new landscape. Boy, look at all that nice rock work and those nice rock stairs. However, several weeks ago, this was all wooded and this hillside was not clean and pine strawed. Rather, this hillside had a lot of vegetation on it. That vegetation prevented a lot of silt and sediment from washing downstream. So you can see as this water comes downstream to this low point, what happens is it is designed to channel out. I wanna show you what happens behind this retaining wall. So again, as I mentioned, this retaining wall is seven years old. Water is designed to travel down behind this retaining wall into this gravel creek bed and carry the water out. And for the last seven years, it has worked perfectly. However, as part of the finishing stages of this landscape, their landscaper on the neighbor's side put pine straw mulch all through here. So the evidence is very clear to me as to why this wall failed. If you will look right here, there is a clear delineation where this rock bed begins and goes, travels all the way down again behind the wall. And what happens right here is we have a big pile of brand new pine straw. So this water has traveled down and has pushed this pine straw, not just the pine straw, but if you notice what this is, this is all Bermuda grass clippings. In here, and you can see it right here. So all these grass clippings and all this pine straw has been pushed by the water, which gave the water, which created a dam right here in this area and gave the water no choice but to go behind this wall, creating a lot of hydrostatic pressure, which is water pressure built up at the base of the wall blowing it out and this is what we call a sudden retaining wall failure. So we're going to come back in and we're going to put this wall back together. But in that process I noticed one more thing that although this wall has stood safely for the last seven years there is no French drain behind this wall and I'm looking to find a lot of clean 57 stone gravel which is a washed gravel and a black pipe to indicate that there's a French drain back here. We have neither. So what we have is this marbly looking gravel, which does not compact well together, kind of has a tendency to roll all over itself, and does not, and just basically creates gravel dirt soup behind the wall. So we're gonna come back in, rebuild this wall, we're gonna install a French drain behind this area, and then we're gonna reinforce it with GeoGrid, which is an engineered mesh material so that way we can give our stamp of approval on this wall and let this homeowner know that they have nothing to worry about, not just for seven years, probably for the rest of this retaining wall's life. We're gonna to guarantee to them, this is not gonna happen again, not with one of our walls. So to prevent these blowouts, make sure you're not damming up or blocking anything behind these retaining walls. Allow this water to flow away from the front edge. You do not want water flowing into the back of this retaining wall. You want it to flow down and away. But you wanna make sure you have the proper drainage behind the wall, just in case, as insurance, if water were to come down, there is relief. Had this wall had some relief in it and an area for water to escape, it may have been prevented. So make sure you're doing the right things on your next project to prevent something that looks like this. And if you do need it fixed, give Sarah's Landscaping a call.